And after roughly 18 months of much needed renovations, Lowell Observatory will soon be reopening its beloved Clark Telescope to the public. And stargazers of all ages will soon be able to once again enjoy the famous telescope. Stephanie Frederick-King went to the top of Mars Hills today to find out the latest. From lead paint, mismatched knobs, and even a frying pan for a lens cap, the Clark Telescope needed a lot of fixing up. The, the reason we went over the telescope in the first place is because it was making loud clunking sounds. They didn't have ball bearings back then uh, for the moving parts to move on. So what they did was they used a very large cast iron wheel. Anything that old, you know, you got to take care of it, and especially with the hundreds and thousands of guests that walk through this door every year to take a peek through this. You know, it was time to, to close it down and give it a little love. Not only does the Clark Telescope hold a lot of scientific value, it also has historical and sentimental value as well. We've shown, shown people the telescope and they've, people have gotten married in this dome. Uh, they take things, they, they have a real attachment to it. It's not your telescope that you bought at a store and you set up in your backyard. You're putting your eye up against an eyepiece and using a telescope that our founder, Percival Lowell, used way back when he established the Lowell Observatory. The telescope belongs to the public program and it has to stand up for them, it has to work. They, people look through it every night, a lot of people. And uh, we want it to work perfectly and we want it to last a long time and we want it to look nice. We're really looking forward to giving this back to the people because truly that's what this is. This is the people's telescope. It's here, it's something big and beautiful and we want to give everyone an opportunity to see space through it. The Clark Telescope will be open for tours on September 5th and open for viewing on October 3rd. For NAZ Today, I'm Stephanie Frederking.